When it comes to lunch, we're all a bit guilty of buying a packet of crisps or a sandwich from the shop down the road. But here is a very simple recipe, not only low in fat, but also some wonderfully fresh ingredients. The good thing about that also is you can make it a couple of days in advance and it'll keep perfectly. The ingredients are egg, corn flour, salt, sesame oil, turkey breast with no skin sliced, spring onions ginger, spinach, soy sauce, and rice noodles. The first thing to do is to velvet the turkey. Now what I'm doing there is coating the turkey in a corn flour egg white emulsion. What that does is it holds the moisture in the turkey when you cook it. Because it's such a lean piece of meat, any moisture you can keep in, the better. So, here I've got egg white. I don't need the yolk. Then I'm going to add to that some corn flour. In that goes with a teaspoon of sesame oil. Be very careful with sesame oil. It's very, very powerful, so a little goes a long way. Then a pinch of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we're just going to whisk that together. Now, you wouldn't think this would go very far, but this is plenty to coat 350 to 450 grams of turkey breast. Turkey goes in. As you see, I've sliced it about half a centimetre thick. In that goes and just coat the turkey in the mix. Now, if you can leave this for about five minutes, all the better. But that is the first stage over with. Turn the pan on, get it nice and hot. What we're going to do here is cook the turkey in one tablespoon of oil. So just coat the bottom of the pan like so. In that goes. All I'm going to do is just literally break that up with a wooden spoon just to set the meat like that. The egg mixture just coating the turkey and just, and just sealing it beautifully. Right, that turkey is now cooked. One of the incredible things about turkey is it's so versatile. Its flavour profile is so good you can attach anything to it. So sweet, sour, spices, even fish work really, really well. And it's extremely good for you. And now I'm going to add chopped ginger and a little spring onion. All I'm going to do is just soften these down. I just want to take out some of the rawness of both those ingredients. And that will probably take 15, 20 seconds, something like that. Then, next ingredient, baby spinach. In that goes. And all I'm going to do is just wilt it very slightly. Then a few rice noodles. These have been just popped into boiling water for a couple of minutes. And I've put a tablespoon of oil on there just to stop them sticking together. And these just go in as well. Just coat them in all the flavours. So these noodles are super healthy. They're rice noodles. There's no oil whatsoever, no flour, just rice flour. And they're just taking on, again, like the turkey, that lovely flavour. Turkey goes back in, all the juice. And I'm having one more teaspoon of sesame oil, and a little bit of soy sauce probably about two or three tablespoons maximum. No salt, and just a bit of extra pepper in there and just warm the whole thing through. And you'll see that everything glazes beautifully. And there it is. And you've got a dish there for at least two days. Look at that. You'll be the envy of the office.